Hey guys, this is John Scott from Blues Man Vintage, and uh, we got a treat for you today. We are just happen to have three outstanding stellar bass players walk in the door today. Um, so we're gonna chat a little bit and kind of find out what they're doing. Um, <laughs> we got Zach Hall, Joey Canada, and Johnny Stanton with us today. Um, all three national guys, all three, you know, pretty accomplished players. Um, tell us a little bit about what you guys are going on. Zach, I know you're playing with uh, Kane Brown. Yeah, uh, right now I'm playing with Kane. I've been playing with him since uh, we all got to Nashville. Um, we've been on the road about two years straight now and just grinding, man. I mean, absolutely grinding ever since we got here. Um, he's got What Ifs is his single on the radio right now, and it looks like it's slotted to jump right up there in the number one slot, fingers awesome. crossed anyway, which this guy actually played on. So I get to play his parts every night. Just not as well as you guys. <laughs> but um, man, uh, I love this company, and I love working with these guys. And if you're ever looking for a great bass, there's nobody else that I really trust with my bass sound each night. So checks in the mail. Yeah, for the yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Uh, just send the bass to my house. Okay. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how did you get with Kate? How, um, how did that happen? We, we all we all grew up kind of in the same area in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and um, I actually got the gig through our drummer. We were on Drumline together in high school, okay. and um, they were looking for a bass player. They were about to start actually playing shows for Kane's music. He just calls me up because we used to be in a rock band together, and he's like, uh, hey man, I know you used to play bass. You want to hit the road with us? Walk into this gig, or walk into this rehearsal, and I played two songs with Kane, and he just looks at me and goes, uh, you want the gig? And that was it. And I've been playing with him ever since. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. cool. So you mentioned, you know, Joey. The, so Joey Kennedy is a, uh, how long have you been in town here, man? You've been 20 years. 20 some years, so. Old man. Old, old guy. Pro, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like retirement age in Nashville. Um, yeah, pretty much. Let's put him down. Uh, <laughs> to put out please, to please do. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> come here. So he's, he's been put out to pasture in the session world. So um, you don't do as, as much touring as you used to, um, but you're you're in sessions every day. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you know where you got started and what brought that brought you to where you're at now. Boy, uh, that's a long story. But the short version is that I grew up on the road with my family. Actually, I grew up on a bus until I was 16. So I kind of never really had a choice. I think by the time I was old enough to realize what a horrible mistake no. I'd made, that was too deep. So I just kept going. <laughs> like, it's like, so, well, so, I better play so now. Who, so who was the family? What, what just the Kennedy family. It was just a gospel music okay. family. We toured and played in churches and high schools and whoever. The like, occasional yeah. women's prison. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I, did, laugh, I did. But I, I did. Oh, yes. I, no, I, I said that truthfully because I did the yeah. same thing. I grew up in a, in a family gospel band. And uh, we played uh, three medium security prisons, a women's prison, mm -hmm. uh, an Arby's, a Kmart. Wow. Um, you know, all kinds of places you'd never expect to see. It's funny. Yeah. I've done some of that prison ministry stuff too. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Small they always want to keep me, so it gets a little. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I, I don't do them anymore. I'm so, afraid. That. Okay, so 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 touring with gospel brought you to. I know you, you did a lot of stuff in the CCM world. Yeah, when I first went to town, I was with Stephen Curtis Chapman for about four years, and that is actually what kind of got me into the session world, playing on his records. And then uh, Steve was such a huge artist at that point that that was kind of the springboard for me. I was just the right place, right time. That was so mid '90s, maybe. That was late '90s. Late '90s. '99, actually, is when it started. '99. He's a good man. He's. It was a one of my favorite gigs. Cool. Yeah, cool. So, yeah. so now you're playing on every session that's basically being put on the radio. I'm You've trying a lot of stuff. I think it was uh, two weeks ago. I think you were telling me there was six out of the top ten country tracks had you you played on. So show so off, he's, yeah, <laughs> brighter. Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joey so is very, not, very humble. But Joey is a very accomplished bass player and, and, and doing making him a really good name for himself here in Nashville. So, well, I'll be excited. I know you know it's funny because I just walk in here to check on a bass that I'm supposed to have done someone told me it would be done last week. And <coughs> yeah, last week, do you see yeah. it anywhere? I, I yeah. man, I haven't hey. seen it yet. Anyway, I came here to check on that, and then somehow we all ended up here. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I've played in my career about every amazing type of bass you could play. I mean, I was a 
I have no problem saying an offender and endorser for 15, 18 years, I guess, or so. Uh, and no offense to them. I've had older offenders that I love, I had new offenders that I love. But when I came in here and played uh, the Bluesman DeVille for the first time, it felt like everything I'd always wanted in the P bass from all the different types of basses that I had finally landed in one um, one instrument. I always say this, that any monkey with opposable thumbs can do what I do on a daily basis. Bass is, it's just bass, you know? Doesn't that make you guys feel good? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, No, I'm just saying, I mean, you know, we're- no, it's I'm the, not we're, as talented of a monkey. Whatever. <laughs> right. I'm just saying the running, the running joke is that bass players are the least talented, you know. We're definitely not the best looking dudes in the that's, world. That's true. You know, whatever, but point being is that the tools that are in your hand are so important. Uh, it really comes down to heart, hands, and what's in your hands for me. Um, and if, if you've got the heart, and you've got the hands, and you've got the right tools, um, you can make some great music. And I feel like that's what this company is doing for me. Um, you didn't ask me to say that. That's no, just, that's right. just truly right. the way I feel. Uh, <laughs> um, and I love the personal relationship, and I love the fact that if yeah. something's wrong with my bass, I can walk in and go, man, this isn't right. And they're like, come here. Let's, let's and care and that I'm before. telling you, within 15 minutes, I'm walking out the door with a big smile on my face because it's fixed. Um, and they're consistent, and I just, I look forward to playing all of them. I want them all. <laughs> You're so, so, so guys, this is Johnny Stan. Johnny is with a group right now called the Steelwoods. Uh, he's also played with a bunch of different artists here in town. Um, tell us a little bit about, about your, your national experience. What got you here? What, what got you started playing? What got you here? What got you where you're at? Well, my dad played, so that kind of got me started <laughs> back home. But um, getting here was just kind of uh, crazy, you know, kind of set of events with uh, some other players on the road. And, I didn't actually plan on moving here, so I'm glad I moved here when I did because no, I feel no. like I would have anyway, eventually. So right. um, I've been here about 10 years, so I guess it's well, maybe longer than that, 12 now. But um, yeah, no, it's been good. Been been staying busy between everybody, you know, with uh, you know this artist or you know this session here or there. But it's been great, you know, starting a new band, you know, being in the band. Mm -hmm. This this year is kind of a new deal for me with the Steelwoods, so it's been. It's been a fun year being in a band, so right. um, got a new record out and up touring like hell. You know, it's great though. Good. Yeah, Good. staying busy. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting my, my first blues band today. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Oh, yeah. you've been doing work for We've been doing years. a lot of stuff for him for a while, but today he's finally getting out of out of modified instruments that we can we do a lot of mods and upgrades and hot rods and things. And we've done a lot of this mm -hmm. for Johnny the Mass. He's getting his actual first right. blues man today, which is really cool. So Excellent. glad to have you on, on board. Thank you. <laughs> At least somebody's getting this blues man. Yeah, today. right? <laughs> it's only been three years, by the way. Yeah, he's been waiting a long time because his his was a, 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 I was a weird, back burner thing, I understand. A weird conglomeration of uh, uh, multiple things. Yeah, that did. It was. That's the thing though, they're worth the wait, man. They they really they are. really are. They're I hate worth it. every <laughs> yeah. We I'm not a good waiter, waiter, am I? Okay. None no, of us are. No. Yeah, my drink's been half empty the whole day. So. Yeah, I heard <laughs> However, <laughs> unlike, unlike most bass players, you're not a waiter. Not yet. Oh, oh sorry. Not yet. <laughs> Give it time. So, awesome. Thanks for having us, guys, man. Thanks for watching. Check out more stuff at bluesmanvintage.com.